In this tutorial, for new Blender users, I'll show you how to model some of the objects within your scene and to use some of the techniques that are really helpful to avoid some rendering errors and some editing errors and things like that. And I'm using version 2.63a. So I have a uh, simple scene set up in here. You notice I have my texture mode set in here and I'm shows that I'm in game mode, but the only reason I'm in game mode was because I had gone down here and set my lighting GLSL down there, but we really want to be in Blender Render as we're working in here. All right, and then um, we'll just work with this cube. First thing we'll do is let's say we'll give it a color and we'll just make it something simple. Let's see, we'll just make it this kind of reddish orange kind of color like that. Okay, and then We'll add another object to the scene. I'll shift D and I'll press Y and I'll move him over like this. No, actually, let's not do that. Let's escape that. Let me just move the cursor over here. I'll shift A. Let's add a sphere to the scene like this. I'll scale him up just a little bit and I'll make him, I'll give that a color too. Maybe this greenish kind of color like that. All right, so now we have two objects in the scene and they, they both are useful for certain purposes but if we look closely at this I'll press the delete key this puts this in the center like this and I'll rotate this around and we'll zoom in like this here I'll press the tab key to edit and you'll notice it's made up of quadrilaterals everywhere except right here at the very top everything converges down into a triangle for this top edge and the same down on the bottom edge you're going to have triangles down there as well All right well that's okay if you're doing maybe a globe or something like that or for whatever but I want to avoid these triangles. I want to make my object all out of quadrilaterals because they can really help you control uh, the editing of your object in the scene. So let me just turn these off. I'll hold down the Alt key and I've let's see what I have here. I have point set. Let's grab the edge select. I'll hold down the Alt key and I'll right click and you can see I grab edges like this all the way around or sideways like that. These really help you edit, like for instance, well that doesn't actually get it all the way around because I'm in this mode here, but let's do let's do face select. Well this face select, in this case we're, we have the object all the way around like that. How about if we do this side? Do we have, or sometimes if you click it here, like I'll click there and then I'll click there and then I'll click there again and now you notice it clicks it vertically it just re so you can just click but notice it's not selected all the way through because it doesn't know about this continuation of faces because it's not this quadrilateral section all the way to the top like that so I can't edit across the surface of the sphere the way I would want so instead one of the better ways to model and it's it just depends what you're modeling but if you want to say uh, model in both directions I'll tab out of that here and I'll look at this object instead. So I'll move, I'll move this one over into the light a little bit. Whoa, how did I get two cubes in there? I must have done something. I'll move him over also. Let's get rid of this one. All right, I'll get rid of that. We'll work with this cube just for a second. We'll put him in the light like this. So, and I'll press the delete key so he's the actual centered object. So when I rotate, I'm rotating around the center of this object as well. That helps with your modeling. All right, so. Uh, from here, instead of using the sphere, we're going to use the modifiers. So I'll go up to the modifier wrench here, looks like a wrench to me, and I'll add a modifier, and I'm going to add a multi-resolution modifier here. All right, and what I'll do is I'll subdivide it. And when I do, I'll subdivide it, say, once, twice, oh, it's kind of looking like a sphere, doesn't it? Three times, all right? And so it kind of does. It simulates a sphere, but if you look at it closely, you'll notice that it doesn't converge to a single point like in a globe or anything like that. You see quadrilaterals all the way. And so if I go into edit mode, oh, you go into edit mode and there's a problem. It doesn't do it because I didn't apply it. So I'll tab out, have to come over here and apply that there. And now when I go into edit mode, there it is like that. I'll hit press A to get rid of the, uh, to deselect everything. And then I'll, in this case, hold down the Alt key and I'll right click and you notice it selects around in this little way let's try all these clicks that way if I click out and click back into it, it clicks around this direction so it gives you a different effect but it's, it's an important f effect because now you maintain quadrilaterals around the entire surface of the object for editing and um, yes it's important 
it really is important. And so you might be able, so from here you can do all kinds of things, but this just becomes like typical editing if you want. Just you've grabbed this guy, you can uh, maybe I don't know, maybe I'll just S and shift to Z and then I scale him out in this direction like that. Alright. So just a little editing of the object. I mean there's uh, all kinds of things you can do. Or maybe I'll just select that face only. Let's see what we look. What happens if we loop cut and slide that face? Can we do that on there? Whoa. That's going to be a little bit difficult on that. Let's see what happens if we try that. So there it is. It just cuts it right there. All right. So there's all kinds of features you can do. But once again, it maintains this selection all the way around the object for doing it. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this lesson. So, because sometimes you'll see models, that, or you'll be making a model by hand, and maybe you, you're grabbing. Um, let's go down here into face select mode. Maybe you've grabbed this and you press E and Z, and you've extruded it up here like this on the Z axis, and then you say rotate it on Y, you, like this, and you press Z. Oops, not Z. I didn't want to do. I'm going to Alt Z back to that. Then press E, and I'll extrude it like this. And then I'll rotate it on Y again, R, Y, rotate it, and I'll press E again, and I'll keep extruding. But uh, no matter what you're doing, I'm still maintaining this cool quadrilateral surface, which where in the case of that, I might not. So you'll just have to experiment. There's lots of cool options in here. And well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.